Welcome to a competitive commander gameplay video. This battle match also had a really typical educational CDH thing happening that we're also gonna talk about at the end of the video, so don't forget to stick around for that. With us we have Eafond piloting his Galasef Prismari Iset deck. If you're interested, me and Eafond actually recorded a deck tech video together, links in the description below of the video. Me, I'm playing my typical CC stuff. Clay is here from the tryhards playing Kenrith Stacks. Clay actually has his own YouTube channel about CDH mostly showcasing tournaments. And last with us we have Retorit playing Nayela Stacks that can also win with infinite combat steps. Really stack support, I think there are 4 stack stacks in this game. Let's see who takes home the victory. I will begin. Four player card draw. Here it is. Putting a bayou into play. Tap the bayou for an elvish mystic. We'll attempt to cast a chrome mox, exiling an elves of deep shadow. I will pass the turn. Draw a card. Put in a marsh flats and immediately crack it. Plateau, I think. Yeah. Mana crypt. Tap. Plateau and mana crypt. Or blind obedience. Party! Artifacts and creatures. I'm gonna exile Elvish Spirit Guide. Uh, Craft Digger's Cage. I'm not happy anymore. Yep, you got it. All right, all right, I'm good. You'll have to rename the title of the stream Fair Magic. Yes, you, you know what? You know what? <laughs> we should do that. So this is a this is a get probe. Yep. Okay, so I see I see them all. You got it. Draw for that. I'm gonna draw a card. Polluted Delta that will crack immediately for a black and a green cost. Ever since Pilgrim passed the turn after finding my are you? We're gonna play a Scar Scalding Tarn, which we are going to crack. Okay. Grab this Tundra. I will play a Sylvan Library. I will pass the turn. Draw a card. Play a Tropical Island. I will pay three and cast N Najila. Pass turn. I'm going to be brainstorming. Draw one, draw two, draw three. Okay, yep. I'm going to put that back. And then I think I will just go ahead and put this back. And then I'll go to my turn. And tap, up, keep, draw. Uh, Lotus Petal, Polluted Delta. I will pay a life cracking the Polluted Delta to shuffle away that other card on top that I didn't want to draw. Uh, I'll be getting a Volcanic, keeping the Volcanic open, and cast Maga Raisin Outlaw. Oh, nice. How annoying that she, she and Artifacts enters tap. And then I'm done. I'll be passing the turn. Draw a card. And I'm going to cost my Commander Cisse and uh, pass the turn. Uh, untap, upkeep. Let's check the board to see if there are any hull breachers in play with my Sylvan Library. None. I will take the eight and keep the three. It's like a chill vibe. I'm going to take the, uh, the two and put the Breeding Pool into play untapped. Life is a resource. Yes, and you know how to spend it. Paying 8 for with Sylvan Library is either really brave or suicidal considering this is probably gonna be a long game with a lot of stacks in it and there's a Nigella running around. Uh, Lavinia on the stack. Yeah, go with me, comes in tap. To cast Yisun, Wanderer Bard. Yep, and no response. Yeah, no response. And it comes in uh, tapped. No, I, I, I'm I, very glad that Grafdigger Cage is here. Uh, a lowly little wanderer bard just, <laughs> you know, trying, trying to deliver his or her catch of whatever. Ironically, except for rhetoric, we all have something on the board that is affected by that Grafdigger Cage. I will pass the turn. Draw a card. Um, we'll do two. We'll do Nijila and uh, a warrior coming at um, play. As one does. And hey, this time I actually wrote warrior. I did soldiers on your last stream so sorry about that. ah huge upgrades so like, soldier 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 and i'm like it's always like dude it's warriors I'm like yep so i willingly take your warriors to the face okay second main phase i'll play an exotic orchard zoom in a crypt and plateau and i'm gonna cast archon of amiria oh nice thankfully that was in turn one yeah, yeah. currently with both blind obedience and archon everything comes into play tap you extort everyone? Yeah, I'll extort everybody one. I'll do it with uh, Birds of Paradise. Why does people play stacks? It's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I'm probably the biggest stacks player you can find inside the entire CDH community. Astron. One tap, up keep, I will draw. I'll be playing a snow covered island. Galaza. Now let's find that, that treasure token I have right here and put that out here. I think Rhetoric has has play under control. I'm gonna come at you mons for two. Yeah, I'll take two. When I tap it, I will get a treasure. I will pass the turn after that. I'm gonna untap. I draw a card. 
Let's play a, a Dark Water Catacomb, tapped, really sad, and passed the turn. Oh. Yeah, that Archon really hit good. I'm gonna say that. It was a perfect timing. Yep, yeah, we'll keep uh, checking again for the old hold, hold Breacher. Hold the three. Yep, we are going to those two back and draw the one. Windswept Heath comes into play tapped. I'd like to change my answer to your previous question, Mons. I do not think this was a good uh, pod for me at all. <laughs> <laughs> I will I will pass the turn. All right, I will draw a card. Um, I will come at Efond with Najila and this one warrior. So I'll make two more. Yeah, I'll 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 take it. Okay, and then I was I was gonna. Do you have any flyers, Clay? Okay. Um, so I'll come at Clay with Archon. As one does. This would be f- four, six damage coming to Efond. I think. Yep. I'll tap. Birds of Paradise. And I'll cast Drain of the Magistrate, just to be even more annoying. Well, I'm fine. <laughs> Mine is already out. I think Clay is the one getting annoyed now. Yeah. That's why. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> Where did I set that removal? <laughs> I am passing. I guess I'm going to just put a Prismatic Vista in tap. I'm just going to sit here with my scary dragon and uh, pass the turn. <laughs> I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw a card. It's a nice looking card. Uh, we want to cost Keenan and put the uh, guy's cradle into play tapped and pass the turn. End of turn. I'm going to tap Eason, put a verse counter on. But you, you, you can still do this just to put verse counters on him, which is probably good anyway. But the shuffling is nice. Yeah. Especially with the, uh, the library. Okay. Proceed to my turn. Tap. Of keep. Man, that music is inspirational. I feel like I'm uh, Rocky Balboa, like like in Philly, like doing this doing the steps thing. <laughs> you know, kind of. I hope you like it. Okay. Uh, top three. Put two back in the hand. You know, I mean, you have card draw. We others don't. We are stop taking here, kind of. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to cast diabolic intent. Sacrificing is an additional cost. Yeah, the uh, elvish mystic. I have no response. I only have responses for rhetoric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you are yeah. in my heart. <laughs> You're in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> w11. It's the best kind of warrior. Yep. <laughs> it's just the new recruit, you know? I think it like they have no names. So hey W, get in the back of the line. Get ready for chow. <laughs> <laughs> I will pass the turn. Draw a card. Alright, I will send these three warriors at Clay, which makes three more warriors, so six warriors coming at Clay. Block where I can, taking the four. Man, that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, buddy, I would attack me too. Zadok Orchard, and I'll cast Collector Oof. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that is what this deck does not want to be. I want rhetoric dead so badly right now. <laughs> I know, I know. I know. I thought I was like, you had eyes for me, and I'm like, oh, I'm feeling really flattered, and then I'm like, oh, I'm gonna play this, and <laughs> but it's a response. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about oof. It's good. Uh, yeah, I wish I could stop it. So here we go. Chip's turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. I am going to uh, to sadly pass the turn while I do nothing in this game. I'm gonna untap. And I'm gonna draw a card. And I'm gonna do something that is gonna look extremely scary. I'm gonna cast a Seedborn Muse. Uh-huh. I would like nice. to point out there there is a Grafter's Kit show. No, there is there is none of that. Comes and tapped. My bad. Right. <laughs> Insult. Even if you're gonna Insult to uh, yeah, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what I like is that it means you could easily swing your sissy out. True. That uh, that can actually go somewhere. That can go places. Uh, I want to go to combat. No, Redrick, you have enough life. CC's coming your way. A 4-4. Four, four. Okay. Sounds sounds good. And I can't do anything more, so I'm going to pass the turn here. Okay. So at the uh, end of your turn, I'm going to crack this windswept heath for land. So entering my turn, Mons, you untap. Yes. Take a look. Look, we'll put those two back as we do at 13 life. We'll go blue, green, other. Attempt to play an Oko. I think we have to work together and use all our resources to, to get rhetoric under control over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
So, well, so you, you definitely see like kind of like where I'm where I'm sitting and why I was discussing the way I was discussing. Um, I, I definitely do. I have no interest in hurting that Oko. That Oko is going to do nothing but help me. And I have every interest in helping get this board state under. <laughs> So my, my natural instinct is telling me that uh, I should Oko Najila. I agree. I will uh, attempt to make Najila a 3-3 L. Sure. I'm not necessarily content with where I'm at, but I feel better where I'm at, and I will pass the turn. Uh, in your end step, I'm going to activate CC just to see if there's anything in the deck that I can pull out that is not a creature, that is legendary. Ah, I do! I have a legendary Gemstone Caverns. There we go. Nice. <laughs> that's, that's a valid target. <laughs> That is funny. All right, I will draw a card. All right, we will send a nice team. Yeah, I'll just send it all at you, directly at you, uh, Clay. Neat. Direct, directly at me. Um, we'll block with a warrior. Uh, we'll block an elk, and that leaves five. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Lavinia dies a horrible death. And you know what they say, player removal is problem removal. Man, I am jamming to that music. Yeah, it's good. Um, I'll cast Null Rod. Oh, nice. Hold on. I'm going to force the will that tossing a Seagate restoration. Neat. And then uh, we got an extort trigger, so I'll pay uh, Exotic Orchard and then extort you all for one. S to be found. One tap, upkeep. Give me something good. Oh, uh, yep. Um, I'll pass. Uh, now I actually do want to search. So activate CC. Tossing things all over the place. Finding I, I can find anything that is not a creature, right? Ooh, maybe a legendary enchantment per, per chance? No, not a legendary no enchantment. Not an Oko either, because I don't have it. Teferi, time reveler. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, seems <laughs> seems fair. <laughs> yes, we talked about fair magic. No, he's gonna bounce the graft. He's gonna bounce the grafter cage. Is what he's gonna do. Yeah, because I think he might actually be able to win right here. Because I think he bounces. Yeah, he has the win. He has the win set up. I do. Clever airphone, but clever too late. This is actually quite common in CSA. You sit there and you wait patiently, and you just okay, let's guys. I'm just gonna activate CSA and they say. Okay, sure. What are you gonna do? And you go to fairy, and they go, oh, oops. I actually have the win, but not in the cool way you think. Draw a card for the turn. I'm gonna activate this guy and bounce the graph digger's cage to draw an extra card at this turn. Now, did you switch the music to have the intensity change when you're going for the win? <laughs> of course <laughs> I do. I he found you know me. <laughs> <laughs> so, white, white. <laughs> to Esper plus white, red, and a ton of green mana. And activate Cissei, find the Revi. Comes in tap. Yes, it does. So we are going to untap. No, we're going to untap that one. There we go, untap Cradle. Now we're going to play a card for the turn. There's an Ezeke, God of the Tree. Oh. Mm. I would like to go to combat with, I would like to go to combat with Kinan and Cissei at Clay here. Uh, how much is that? Is that seven exactly? Uh, that is seven exactly, correct. Uh, I guess in preservation of my own miserable life, I'll attempt to throw Yusan and in front of uh, Sise. Sure. Uh, die, die, you peasant. <laughs> 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 uh, you will take hit by Kinnan. Two. Yeah, two. Yep. Which is gonna untap Plato. Second main face. Black, red, blue, blue, white, white. A ton of green mana. Activating CC. Still floating a ton of green mana. Finding Emil, the blessed. Mm. Ah. Yep. So, with the infinite floating mana, I'm gonna activate this and return the Revi. The Revi is gonna enter tapped, but it's gonna untap Cradle. I can make infinite green mana, which I can filter into any form of mana, which means I can search out, I can untap everything I have, and I can tap down everything you guys have. And you can also do that on our upkeep, so you, we won't even be able to tap during our unkeep, up, or untap during our upkeep. Exactly, exactly. So you just keep us pinned down until you... Exactly. And and I'm also gonna be able to search out, for example, Kinan can find creatures that aren't legendary. So here's Glenalendra, here's Lavinia, here's Grenso, uh, here's Gadok Teague, here's an. Oh, I can't find Notion Thief actually. But here is Archon of Emeria, here's Falia. I'm gonna create board state that can't lose. 
that you can't deal with, especially after finding some more. So here, here's a good thing. Falia will make it quite impossible for you to actually do things. And then I have Glenda Lendra. Well, you you just have us you just have us on basis of Teferi and your ability to tap us anyway. Exactly. So even if even after drawing a card, I can still tap you down and you won't even cast that card in instance. Correct. Yeah. Oh, good game. Play of the game. And I'm gonna do something that is gonna look extremely scary. I'm gonna cause a seed born muse. Uh -huh. I would like nice. to point out there there is a Grafter's kit show. No, there is there is none of that. Mons, the biggest liar in the entire world. Nah, I'm just kidding. But now think about it. The thing in multiplayer games is that someone usually becomes an arch enemy, the big threat. In this case, that was Nigella, putting a lot of stacks into play, really controlling the game didn't really get that much that affected her and then just sitting there and waiting for the top deck mode of getting that Darevi, getting that sort of feast and famine or getting something that will make Nigella gain those infant combat steps and win. So Nigella was really scary which means that suddenly other players can sneak through some really grindy value cards that should be interacted with normally. The best thing that can happen to you in a multiplayer free-for-all game, regardless of what multiplayer free-for-all game that is, is that you get left behind and your opponents are all interacting with each other and you just get to sit there and do your own sneaky stuff. Take that as a thought experiment. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I do and you want to support me, feel free to share my videos or even checking out my Patreon page. Also, purchasing cards from the TCG Players website using the affiliate link in the description below of the video will also help the channel grow. So a big thank you to all of you.